Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. Go to Google, write my name, Charles LeBlanc. You get my blog. Anyway, yeah, I find out a lot of people listen to this YouTube. I like to tell you that little kid there that came to me a couple days ago. Give me a thumbs up. Watch my YouTubes. I, <laughs> that was good. Anyway, never mind. <coughs> my job is to educate the public. Okay. They, what's this? Fancy mansion? That's the Lieutenant Governor's Mansion. That's where these appointed people live. And, uh, you know, I mean, Fredericton is the capital, right? Now, there's a side of Fredericton, that Brad Wood side, the mayor, that uh, will get to more issues than months to come, what he's not supposed to do. But anyway, there's a side that Brad Wood side doesn't want the rest of the world to see. They promote green city, clean, and everything. Now, they don't want to go public to say how they treat the poor people, the less fortunate, and uh, other issues. So, let me show you the Lieutenant Governor Mansion. Hedges, everything. Walking trail, which the mayor doesn't want people to exercise because the rat patrol will come and get you if you don't have a helmet, which I'll admit they don't bother me. But look at this green city, right? See how beautiful it is? The leaves are falling. But Brad Woodside refused to clean an area that's right near the St. John River. Ah, there's Bert. How you doing? Okay. When are you going to clean this mess? I don't know when do it. Huh? I don't know. Have you been in there? Huh? Have you been in there? No, no. Uh, you live down there. Them that, but yeah. But, uh, I think the city, um, there's nothing wrong having the city, having people have a tent city as long as uh, nobody gets killed. But the city should clean it. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to, but they didn't touch it yet. They what? They might, they might touch it. They might, they might clean it, they said. Maybe after this video. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> See you, Bert. Okay, now, here we go. Bicycle. Okay. Try to go down without killing myself. Yeah, really. Oh. What a mess. So Brad Woodside wants this mess to then the river rise to go way down, continue to go down. What a mess. I think the city with Brad Woodside has, uh, what they call them? Outside workers. City outside workers. There's nothing wrong in having a tent city as long as everything's smooth, nobody gets killed, nobody gets stabbed. Because you must understand, the shelters they have here is one room with 40 men. And you got to be in at 10 o'clock, you can't drink, you can't smoke, I mean, come on, drinking. No bureaucrat drinks, no, they're saints. So Brad Woodside refused to clean this mess that's beside the St. John River. I don't understand, look at that, they even had a laundry line, clothes, laundry line, clothes line to put their clothes to dry. I've never been here. I've never been this far. Look at this. So, how come Brad Woodside is refusing to clean? To order the city workers to clean up this dump? Is it because it's not safe? Yeesh. 
Okay, what the hell is that? Wow. So, Redwood Side Refuse calls himself a green city. <laughs> right by the St. John River. Shame on Bradwood Side. Shame, shame. There's an election in May. We need leadership. Leadership big time.